Hi, so I got a quick question for you and this is the question. Did you know that the nursing program is not considered a STEM program for OPT? Did you know that? Now, most of the international students, including me at first, actually thought that the nursing program is a STEM program for OPT. Why was I thinking like that? So now look at the STEM, right? When we talk about STEM, the S stands for science, T for technology, E for engineering, and then the M for mathematics, right? So I've always been with the thought that nursing, I mean, has to do with something relating to science. That is, it has something to do with science because these are the people, you know, they're taking care of you, they are injecting you, trying to see where are the veins, ah, where are the veins, like, you know, doing all those things. And I mean, even studying about the body, right? So that has something to do about science. That is what that has been in my mind all along until recently that I got to know that the nursing program, it is not a STEM program for OPT. Now, those of you who actually seemed confused about this, let's clear this out together. So I know that most of you are asking the question, what is this STEM OPT thing that I'm talking about, okay? So now this is it. The STEM OPT, it is a 24 month work extension after your regular OPT, which is one year, or let me say 12 months, right? A 24 month work extension or work extension after your regular OPT, which is one year. So for example, I am doing computer science, so I did computer science, right? So uh, it means that after my one year OPT, I am eligible to apply for this 24 month work extension because the computer science is regarded as STEM. So this STEM extension thing that I'm talking about, it is only applied to the programs listed on the DHS STEM designated degree program list. So it means that if whatever program that you are doing, the programs that you are probably admitted into, if it is not listed in this designated degree program list on the DHS website, then it means that your program is not considered a STEM, okay? So now, talking about a nursing program, the nursing program falls under health professions and not STEM. So it means that the people who are thinking of doing BSN, MSN, I'm talking about Bachelor of Science in Nursing or Master of Science in Nursing or maybe even DNP, these programs are not regarded as STEM program. You are not qualified for the STEM extension after your one year regular OPT. Now, the only exception is if your CIP code is relating to a nursing science with a focus on uh, biological sciences, right? But even this is very, very rare because most nursing programs, they do not get the STEM extension. It is very, very rare. Now, I know most of you might be asking, what is the CIP code that I'm talking about? The CIP code is actually located on your I-20. So how do I know if my program is a STEM program or not. Now, for example, look at your I-20. Let's look at this example. So this is a random I-20, okay? Now, this, look at this, this is a major. This is a program that this particular student has been admitted into. And this is the CIP code. So when you see this code, you have it in your mind, you get back to the designated degree program list for STEM, right? This is the list. A lot of them, lot of programs here, lot of programs here. So what you have to do now is to compare the CIP code on your I-20 to the codes on this list. Check to see if your code is on this list, 
that means that your program you qualify for another 24 month work extension after your one year regular OPT. If it is not there, that means you just have one year to do your OPT and that is it. It's either you go back to school, uh, if your employer doesn't uh, file for you, or you go back home. So by checking this, this is the way for sure you can tell that your program is a STEM program or not. To my nursing students out there, or even the prospective nursing students out there who, I mean, you are thinking of coming to the US to study nursing or all these health related programs, do not rely on the STEM extension thing unless you are so sure that your program or your CIP code is listed on this program list. That is one way again to tell that your program is a STEM related program or not if maybe let's say before you get into your program before you get admitted into the program you want to look at or know the cip code for the program you're looking at i'm sure you can email the school send them an email just to find out that what is the cip code for this program they should be able to you know help you with this code so when you get this code just get to this dhs website i have the link of this website in the description of this video so check it out okay uh, look at it and compare so that you are able to tell if your program is a stem related program or not so to you out there you want to come to the u.s and pursue nursing or any health related program tell me why you want to go into nursing put it in a comment section let's have a chit chat about it and do this together okay so if you found this video helpful please do not leave uh, without hitting that subscribe button share it with your friends particularly those who want to come here to do the nursing program let them know about it uh, or maybe even any health related program let them know well you may not be wanting to do nursing but any program that you want to come to the US and study but you are considering or you want to rely on the stem OPT thing uh, just you need to see this video check the list as well to see if your program is a stem related program or not my name is mccray soga and i'll see you in the next video many thanks for watching